being healed up. He's going to go for the fight on the ramp, and he wins it right back up, not just to full, but to 150 health. This is strong. Ryan was a little bit late getting to the party, so he's left to watch their flank, and they heard him. They know that he's here, and that's why Pora coming from behind picks up a free kill. It's all about focusing on the site, and all these players grouped up towards Elbow. It's not the easiest of positions to hold. They're going to be overwhelmed, and JD does well to pick up two, but with all three left to go, Chihuahua's got a tough task, and one that Pora quickly puts an end to, and is 1-0 to zero as Heretics pick up the pistol. Yeah, three kills in a round like the previous one. Hell, you'll take that any day of the week. And I fear definitely the ones walking out with a smile on their face. But that's one way to start this off. Niso comes straight in with a bookie, shutting down the lurk towards the A side and even gaining a little bit of free real estate. So now glowing. you can see him pushing up all the way into their spawn. Yeah, these are the sort of plays that, no offense, Rubino, but we ain't getting from you. These are the <laughs> Nisal plays, taking full control. The only worry is the wraparound. And if Akukos will check the flank, which it seems like they've had a good idea. I like it, though. They actually bait the orb. They try and fake it out. It doesn't work for heretics, but the idea is a decent one. Now, they've still got to try and push back through. They need to check the closer angles, and it's not cleared. Nuki given a good opportunity and will take a couple of kills alongside of Ova. It leaves Ryan with a bit of time and 45 seconds to try and bring this back. Uh, that's a real shame. Nuke in the corner, able to get so much done. And as it was looking like NIP would get the round on the board, capitalize on the damage done in the previous. Now it all falls apart all too quickly. The satchel's going through. Actually, of NIP, you don't expect a lot from them. They've only got a few pistols to play with. There's mostly no armor as well. So this should be a cleanup. Really, if they can grab themselves a couple of kills, we're going to look at this as a pretty positive round. But so far, they're burning utility and getting basically nothing forward to the point that they have basically nothing to play with. Bar the weapons in their hands. And Chihuahua is a perfect replica of the previous Sheriff exactly clip you right. just talked about, Tom. He comes into heaven, picks up a quick double, and that's it. And I'm here back into the round all of a sudden. This man is truly unbelievable with that gun. I'm going to need some lessons, but luckily, once again, Nisal's in play. 30 seconds left. Come on. It's actually going to get cleared out. Right. Ooh, He's going to hit a double. What is going on in this round, NIP? How is that the first round that you managed to... Heretics now know that... Or, sorry, NIP now know that there's at least two players there, and you'll presume Niso is there as well, right? A lot of information to play with, so it's no wonder they're playing so heavily towards the B site, rushing out as a Vova capitalizes on this push, tears it to shreds, but Akukos does well to pull it back. Here comes the showstopper from Nukie, followed a showstopper to push him back and make sure they can't get anything for that ultimate player still dwindling on the NIP side, leaving just existence. He's got it all to do, and with Niso taking him out with a quick headshot, the round again falls into Team Heretic's hands. They're going to look to continue this aggression towards the rope room, but Niso, he says, take your advantage back as he's taking it right back into his hands. This is unbelievable. NIP just being torn to shreds. They've committed already to this round, and they have a showstopper as well. We'll see if they're going to commit that as they push towards this B site, but three players from Heretics are currently waiting for them. This is a really good setup. They've got the pincer hold back towards rope, so if they try to rotate quickly in towards A, there'll be players waiting, and then they have a stack ready. They've also got aggressive with a Vova. They have so much map control, so much information, and it seems like Nip in this round are just stuck in a corner. They're going to need something pretty impressive to get out of this one. They've also got to try and get past the trip, which will probably give even more info. Not, as said, that it's really necessary at this stage. Korea, well... He at least spots out that there's a player close, but with 25 seconds left, they don't have a choice. They've got to go in that direction. They do, and they run right into Pora. Straight away a kill onto Ryan, and JD does this best. In the right place at the right time. In terms of entry stats, he's been unbelievable. And again, there's the chance, there's the dismiss. He's out of there. Opener, easy, done. It's almost like having a jet up in mid, because this guy only hits headshots, and he doesn't need a dash. If he gets a kill, it's the dismiss. It's so well uh, utilized by heretics to grab those opening kills and harass any map control that NIP wants to go for, whether it's towards the A site or ropes. It seems like Niso is always a worry that you have to have. And another worry is this push on B. Rhyme's been spotted now, so he can't even properly contest it. They will fall back for the most part, a smoke down to try and keep him suppressed. And as Nuke walks oh out, he just God. took Rhyme out off screen. That's an easy kill. And with that, advantages continue to stack up in the 
hands of heretics. The only hope here is Chihuahua, right? That spike is down in mid. It's about to be spotted, but maybe Chihuahua can catch them off guard. But I think he's actually doing more harm. The info he's getting is players towards B main, a free kill onto Avova. But the fact that he was looking away from Chihuahua should give away the flank. And but the ultimate just makes sure of it. Yeah, th this is actually looking like it might come back to bite heretics. Nuki still coming in on the flank, but they've given up B. It was looking like a, a perfect round for them, and instead, it's right back into a close situation. The res is massive, but Nuki almost falls asleep a little bit, and now just two players remain. It's Akuko's throwing in the ult to try and hold on, and JD 1v4. Not an easy situation for JD. He's stuck in a corner, can't get out the wall. He put just have a really solid read. Absolutely, yeah. NIP not reacting to the map control. They'll get the information for sure this time, but Chihuahua, I mean, we talk about Chihuahua being towards A. We talk about the utility, and I'm even thinking, ah, it could be anybody. It could be a breach here just to pop a flash and get that map control before they uh, decay towards mid and A. But instead, Chihuahua, well, he picks it up with nothing but a sheriff. Easy kill. Existence about to take a fight and dropped for it. Niso again able to take that kill and the information. This guy was alone. He pops a flash out to continue pushing and gain the mid control. But it might be too late. NIP stampeding towards this A site. Yeah, this is one of the first times I think we've actually seen Heretics get the read wrong. Uh, they had the majority of their players stacked towards mid and B based off the spot that they had early. They lost a frag in that direction, and now it comes down to a straight-up retake. This is where we should see NIP look comfortable, but again, Nisal brings them back into the round, and it's the showstopper thrown out! It's not going to connect, though. It leaves just one man standing. LOL versus two. Give it a go. Yeah, it's going to be... Again, a situation for Lowell where he has to make these big plays we know him for. We've seen him in the past, and with eight rounds on the board, you know, there's only been one slip-up so far. Let's see if he can cement a 9-4 Heretics, and no, Ryan shuts him down. NIP get their second. Look how quickly NIP tried to entry into this site. And that's Niso down. Such a valuable kill straight off the bat. The double peak is there. Trades going NIP's way. This is looking much better. The res, the boom bot, they're getting control of heaven. Whether Heretics want to give it up or not. Pora has to fall back and now all they've got to rely on is this flank. There's a tripwire in place to spot it and stop it. So it will be a tough one for Nuke to really capitalize on, but hold on! Breach is walking back! Akuko's down! They haven't even got the sight yet, and the flank! Nuke is really on fire right now! He's looking unstoppable! That satchel puts a stop for a second out wide into Chihuahua as he gets eventually eliminated from the round. But a 2v3, a good pullback by Nuke, if a little bit over-aggressive. They've gambled on B. I don't know if they saw the players going back and after getting the kill onto Nuki, they decided that there was a chance it was going in the other direction. But yeah, Heretics have fallen all the way back to the B site. And sure, they've, they've had a very good streak of rounds, but I do wonder if they're going to have the time to even go for anything here. Even looking at where the Sage will currently sit, it's going to make things very awkward for Pora to try and get through here subtly. In fact, he's just going to have to try and spam through and his teammate is already gone. That wall in Oh no! It was breaking slowly with the knife, but Ryan speeds up the missed damage. Here's Rolling Thunder into a push. Akuko's caught with a flash in hand. A slow goes down to keep them back, but it might cause some damage. That nade lighting up Chihuahua and taking him down. There goes the showstopper. Nothing capitalized. And look at that. They walk past each other in the smoke. Ships in the knife. But Lowell's got a torpedo shutting down Rhyme. Nuke with another and a 4v1 in play. JD already low HP and quickly dispatched to put nine. Gonna see heretics getting control over the rope room before then proceeding into heaven, but they're a little bit scattered on that fight. Beautiful paranoia, JD not able to uh, convert with his teammate or trade it off, and so the man advantage sits to heretics. Poor has already got the B site with Nuke. Now it's just about getting the spike down there, and wisely they decide to rotate it through B main, the control that they know that they have, rather than potentially have that spike dropped in heaven. They cross it over, nothing to help it on the way. The wall is gone, and so they've got to just take fights on the crossover. They've got to contest it, and they're doing exactly that. Smoke goes down eventually. Here comes the spike plant and. And it's all left onto JD. A 1v4 in the pistol. It starts off well with one. Heal back to 100 HP. And two of these players are low. This is definitely doable for JD. 
rough position though to try and isolate any of these jewels you can tell the side of heretics are just going to play this patiently grouping up to almost try and bait out shots to work out where this man is standing he has managed to isolate at all a straight push by niso the confidence that he has got now makes him even harder to play against on the site you have a lone jd isolated poor oh hello chihuahua out of the smoke he goes a quick double jd who we were saying was alone now has support his whole team rallying to his side and poor can't get a damn thing done. 11 to 4 as NIP pick up their first aggressive into B so that they can check there's no rush. And now they're going to battle him for mid. Three players just not going to push all the way down. Existence taking the mantle of Star Fragger in this one, but they've got to be careful because it quickly slips away. It does. Nuki and Lao all too happy to take those frags if you give them the opportunities. Now the rotate to the A side as the wall breaks due to time being placed right at the start of the round and now disappears the cage down they've spotted a player jd is about to take a fight he might not know there's two players here though Pora goes through the cage and gets fragged but the refrag is there now showstopper online chihuahua wants to shut it down before it can even be popped and he gets it done lowell alone but has the spike the plant sure to come down and a one versus two as their retake will be mounted by nip not gonna be the cleanest of rounds, especially as they've just spotted him out. Now they know exactly where he is. Uh, he might try and use that to his advantage, though. Try and sneak his way through. Oh, he catches one on the cross, but fantastic round. Yes, he was. And yeah, you're talking about the read of NIP. Three players stacked up on B as Heretics push out. Showstopper does enough damage oh, no. to kill Rhyme as he falls off the top. Here comes the Rolling Thunder to try and capitalize, but a well-placed eye, a leer, stops them from seeing anything. The cage does much the same. They know where Chihuahua is, but here comes Paranoia. The push out, and Niso with a classic. Quick to get one. Rez comes in. This is desperate times for NIP. They want this round. They need this round. But a man advantage still sits with Heretics. Here, oh, Niso with a jump shot. Takes him down. He's right beside you, Existence. And down he goes to Avova. Headshots. You've got the kills with the Bucky while on a rope. Like This, this makes no sense. Like, how this guy is... If this guy is your bench player this is your sixth man most of the time like he doesn't even play half the maps and he's just like, they're already trying to put some pressure on above waiting in the corner chihuahua so close but so close doesn't win anything he noticed his teammates were spamming through that cage as well stopping anybody from pushing him and when they eventually did he was all too quick to get the kill man advantage but a showstopper online for nip the res will be used if they don't claim significant map control after finding kills and so this is a tough round a really really tough round for nip they're still not fully rotated existence on the a side as jd picks up a kill on b lit down very low as heal online but it's not going to get him up to full and it's going to take a while as well there's the res on the nuke but rhyme takes a little bit too long to go forward as he eventually moves in his whole team has already fallen and look using the cam to spot out a little bit more but there haven't been any rotations just yet i don't know if he actually saw anyone there so no one's moved there's only going to be two players here but chihuahua Maybe he could do it alone. He is a pistol god, but it's not quite the sheriff this time, as he will only take one for his troubles. Oh, hello, Korea. Nice little one-tap damage done as well. Over towards two of these remaining players for Heretics. This could be pretty tough to hold on to. Oh, that paranoia. Not in time, but Lowell saves the day. A shot from afar as JD falls. Lowell up on full health, still with his armor. He's got to be the point man, surely. Avova with 10 HP doesn't stand a chance in a fight. Rhyme already inside that smoke. There's the flash as they push on forward. Lowell... Ooh, they gonna go all the way around? That's ballsy, but they're correctly predicting that this won't be a stick. Evolva goes in for the info and gets it. Lowell turns up, but there's already two looking at him. And Rhyme showing up in the pistol. Crap mid on A as well. So they know at this point it is most likely to be a B hit. Flash, final flash gone though, and it doesn't really get them anything. A side swipe headshot. Ryan wants to come through that smoke, and he's gonna straight go for it, dropping down on their heads. It's like watching Mario upgraded for the third as well, tearing them to shreds, three to zero. What's scary about this is the bathroom is the area that Chihuahua can't really watch, right? His camera, the his trip wires aren't spike looking down. at it, but Spike goes down. The smoke from Korea, they will just fall back. They'll concede the control. That might almost sell a, a, an extra fake. The Spike's being spotted as they seize more and more control of this A side. But it looks like Heretics want to slowly shift backwards, which is where... There could have been even more problems. Avova takes damage with Spike in hand. If that was dropped, 
you're going to probably look at aggression down middle and a potential guaranteed round for Nip. But instead, they get the wall up and they get the res. And it doesn't... Oh! He's escaped it! I'm not really sure how. And as said, this was a gamble stack. They kept to the majority of their players on B. So the second Chihuahua falls, something that I guess they were almost relying on not happening. This is now a three versus five. Now two players are incredibly low and some good utility usage could be enough to bring this back, but they need a pick and they need it fast. They do and Vova on 14 HP. He's likely to be the pick that the defenders pick up tucked in the corner, but we've seen it before. He has a supportive setup. He has a player ready to take the fight as they swing on out. And it's Nukie in the back lines that grabs one, jumps up to pick the dismiss and bail through to bathroom. NIP realize this 2v5 ain't gonna happen today. And they start to run away, hoping that they get chased so they can at least cause a dent in the Heretics economy. But that doesn't look all too likely. We're looking at four to one now. Heretics finally answering back. I think the only thing that's a bit off about this round for an IP is the fact that they hold that four-man stack for so long. I got no problem with the initial aggression, got no problem with... But he'll slow it down. Oh, that's not the peak you want from JD. Gone already. And the rest of the players completely isolated from this round. Sure, they've got a little bit of extra utility to try and slow down the push, but chances of getting back in a slim chihuahua, though. He actually manages to find the kill onto yeah. Nuki. It looked like he was almost dead to rights. It turns into a workable position. The problem is there's no one left to bring back his health. There's no chance of him really doing much more. Has to just go swinging into the site and it's trades back and forth, which is all heretics really need. Akuko's even going to throw in the rolling thunder, but he doesn't expect the Vova in the corner. And now last man standing, 1v3. He's got no choice but to escape. Running for his life here so he can maintain his existence into the next round. And indeed the existence hey. of his weapon. I like... I, I, I thought that was a good joke, Tom. Enjoyed it. And yeah, for heretics. Now do the same with the Kukos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'll win. Like a, a pretty quick pace change as well. Ryan again goes for the aggression over towards B long. Starts things off with a pick and this time they're out of there. I don't think they're going to risk too much more other than some information plays. They've also this time put a second player on A, which means there can't just be a quick switch up from the side of Heretics and move into the other side with less defense. In fact, we're seeing more aggression. Something you mentioned just moments ago. Okay, you found out that there's players over on B. Is there anybody towards A? Well, they know that now as well. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty big. At the position where Heretics lose that opening duel, especially the way that they did, they're at a loss in this round. They were so heavily focused on B that they can't really rotate to A without heavy risks. But the player up close hasn't been spotted. That's a very advanced push, and they're already on the site. Two quick kills, and it was actually Hookah that was finding that. Nuki just keeps on going. Once confidence comes into his corner, he is unstoppable, and you're seeing it right here and right now. Two kills on that B entry, and Heretics have got the spike planned with the man advantage. Incredible. And also, Kriya tried to fast rotate there. That also managed to get denied. So he's had to go the old-fashioned way, wrap back around with the one remaining player alongside him, Chihuahua. I don't think they're going to expect this angle from Lau. It almost seems like a little bit of BM just to be sat exactly where the spike is, and he'll peek out and get both kills alongside it. As I said, that is an unorthodox afterplant for a star, but a consistent star, and he's someone that NIP desperately need to try and shut down. Yeah, there's a couple players up there for the discussion, but I 100% agree. Nuke is there. This time, it's actually going to be a Vova and Rubino that are finding the openings and pulling it into a man advantage. Now look at their backs, and Akukos comes around the corner into a more than ready Pora, a free kill, as it were, because he had support from up above. A 2v4 remains, an NIP, they might almost consider the save. Oh, there's someone above. Joel has no idea. That's a free kill for Lau. I was about to say, good luck saving from there. I don't know how you plan to get out of lamps as a cypher with no utility left, but it's not going to happen this time, and they're on the hunt. Like heretics, well, you said no mercy. It's actually going to go the other way. They want to try and remove every single weapon possible leave actually i don't know leaving an ip on pistols actually seems but those weaker weapons though it's going to be tough to capitalize and korea runs right out into the open the flash though completely blinded new k there we go the return the dismiss and he's back over in the corner a leer up top 
but Korea still hits it full blind and he gets the kill. Evolva not able to make it away. The nade picks him up and with that spike is on the floor. They wanted to TP to B, but it wasn't possible to retreat, leaving Pora in this, oh, I would say un unwinnable position of a 1v3. And then again, this round in general looked unwinnable for NIP, so let's give him the benefit of the doubt. The one versus three left. situation doesn't have a lot of time left. Going to try and use the cage to his advantage, but it has almost definitely given away his position. They're going to know exactly where he is, and I like this. The bait and switch. And puts him right back up. Should be about, yeah, about 80 before he comes into the fight. Evolva picking up the opening, but it's Nuke that I'm a little bit worried about. He's over towards bathroom and looking to push out on these side angles. Chihuahua. Keeping safe behind that smoke, but it'll only last so long. Avova still pushing forward inside of Lamps and looking for a duel as Pora picks up the six. Tripwire gets destroyed. He was ready for that, but they knew exactly what was going on. They had the read. There's Nukia finally capitalizing on that position from the early round. And again, I feel like we're in a spot where NIP almost have to save. Yeah, they, d they don't really have a choice. And again, I, I don't really think... The Heretics did anything too complicated in this round. They, they get two opening picks towards Lamps. Now Nuki's like, well, I've, I've popped the Empress, lads. I'm, I'm going to go push and I've got to try and find a kill or two. Rolling Thunder as well we use to force back the remaining players, but Nuki's still here and he wins the second duel as well. He's taken this into his own hands. A third one for Nuki and that's round over. This man is unbelievable. Like we, we go back to the desk sort of talking about uh, Niso, like, oh, can they, can they fill the void? Well, Nuki was just waiting the whole time just like guys i got this it's massive as well like he i was saying to you in between this game tom we've, we've talked about it before if you were to watch anybody to learn how to get better at valorant don't watch nukie because it feels like he has some if you were to go through <laughs> and objectively say each decision is this good or is this bad i think you'd highlight bad more than you'd highlight good but he makes it work he's so individually skilled is such a good read like people will look at him and go oh, okay so when an omen smokes bathroom i'll just shift walk through it right no you're gonna die 90 percent of the time but nukia he turns it into a 3k wins the round for his team and forces nip to save coming into the last round of the half i mean this is devastating right now for these defenders and even saving these weapons might not be possible because look who's coming it's nukie he's up behind looking for a kill poor grabs one but those wall if they didn't lose that extra weapon they've got a much stronger buy nukia he's in trouble and he manages to deal damage down to five hp but it's not enough a kukos will make it out of there and fall back no sage for nip so there's no heals he will remain super low but that flasher staying alive into the late stage of the round when you've got a man advantage that is a huge huge bonus now that could come back to bite heretics yeah, they need to get the rotation in. They've spotted that every single player was on the other side of the map, but are clearly a bit wary of rotations. But look how aggressive they got I'm elsewhere. Fine. Chihuahua with deep control into mid. If they try and wrap back around, they're going to walk straight back into him and look at his position. If he's going to hear the footsteps. He's going to know that they're coming. If they clear this angle, they've got a bigger brain than I thought, but the paranoia oh, is spot eight. on. Two quick kills, 30 seconds standing. left. It needs to be a one versus four for Rabino. And I almost want to call him a rat at this stage because it's just so filthy that if they try and cross that spot it's going to be rough now already they're going to be stuck in mid and nuki this time is going to get punished his aggression shut down and the rotation has to come back in putting two players at least on a but not in the best of positions jd as well gets the rotation onto pora this is looking good for nip cutting off the flanker very valuable kill for nip avova wants to try to pull it back he's taking a risk and it doesn't pay off nip picking every single kill in this round a Kukos in for four to close out the pistol. It's but for this round, for what was in it to come out with three kills, Tom, they might not have a round on the board, but I think they won that one. Oh, stop, man. <laughs> Can we, can we say it one more time? Let, let's wheel it back. I need that again. <laughs> They're deep, but they won't use any shock darts to destroy these. As they move forward, there's one destroyed, two as well. They're being quite cautious. Priya manages to pick up Nuke, a valuable player to drop straight away. The wall up gives Laul a nice angle, but he's been spotted. Wants to fall back, but he can't get out. Shady's watching the cross and ready to take that fight. Two-man advantage now, as NIP just completely shred them look at that a nice 3k of map control already deep in towards a bathrooms but there was a cam new key again all right all right just maybe this man's looking to try and take chihuahua's crown this would be a oh, come on. what is that this doesn't make any sense
sense. That gun is not meant to work like that. I, I really thought, here's a collat. You know, it's coming. I could feel it <laughs> after that. Let's see what the rest of his team can do, because there are no... Hold on. Well, he doesn't know the player's crossed, oh. and he still gets it. Come on. No slackers on this team for sure. Two-man advantage to play with now for Heretics as they look fondly towards this site. A smoke down paranoia perfectly hits, and Kree is in danger, swinging into heavy traffic again, leaving a Kukos to do it all. The spike down and Mark, he's spraying away, and the first is found. I don't think they got that halfway. He has Rolling Thunder to play with, but he didn't realize the smoke was about to go. Mistimed. And uh, misfired. He's out of here. 9-7. to seven. Been committed to shut down Elbow. They've got sight. They should be easily able to get a plant out of this one. And Rhyme knows there's a flank coming in. Whips the initial shot, but gets it in the end. Fora not able to connect. And, well, we might need another hero play from Nukie. This story certainly lacking a hero right now for Heretics. As he push... Whoop. Doesn't push out because he gets slowed a little bit. But here he comes. Out the corner, out the side, and down he goes. NIP are here to play. And it is one man left alive. You said the 1v4 earlier was undoable and go right into the operator, but Nuki didn't get the opportunity. They're going to go all the way through. They're going to keep on sending it. Pora caught completely off guard. That flash does catch them, the Leer blinding some, and it's just to keep them back from pushing while the res comes through. Now that they've got nothing really for that ultimate, it's time to make a move forward. They've committed to this round. They want to get something, but Ryan slows them down. Hunter's Fury... Crowd controls them into heaven, or at least that was the hope. Ryan not able to capitalize, but JD picks up one. Man advantage no longer in play. It's equalized instantly, but Avova from behind flanks out. Grabs himself a kill to push forward. Rabino in with another. They're clearing out Lamps one at a time. Akukos, one of the last standing beacons. And now the final. A 1v2, but time's so low. Into the op he goes. Easy kill. And they don't get it halfway. No time because of it. And that's the round for NIP. Akukos. Kukos winning that. Surely no way that they expect him here, although it looked like existence was going to clear it for a second. He does, but right into Nukia's bullets he goes. Man advantage sitting over for the defenders. Heretics have struggled so far. NIP are starting to pick them apart. And again, we see a rotate from B begin. They're looking at the B site fondly. 30 seconds left. Shadow. Well, they've heard Rhyme into Hooker. The rest of the team are going to make their move. He bounces through and actually gets caught by the paranoia. Poor again. I said he's always in this position. It's something they have to expect. Looking to try and deny the plan. There's only 15 seconds left as it looks to come through. And Kriya, he's trying to hold the line. Finds the first kill. Actually gets a second as well. The omen's gone huge in making this look oh. possible. But Lau turns the tide once again, leaving it on to just him. Needing to try and bring this back. No res in play as he looks for the 1v2. The timing looked like it was perfect for JD. But instead, he's found the kill, leaving just Chihuahua remaining. His utility is not going to help him out this time. But again, the time is ticking away. Looking to try and get this one half, which will be successful. The wall bang still possible here, but he's hiding in the corner. And Lau's going to do it. The clutch, the 4K, and a round win for Heretics. Implications of winning this one here. If Heretics get this map, it's over. And MIP go to the lower bracket. Racket. They do not want that. Nate. What? Pistol shots everywhere. We're watching Nuke. We're on board with him, ready for that big play to happen that we've seen again and again. But somehow, on this extremely low buy, they make it work, pick up three weapons, and heretics within the first 20 seconds. <laughs> it looks like they're going to save. <laughs> Unbelievable. How? Like, we only saw it from um, from Lau. It's been the same play every time. The wall will go forward. Nuki, though, he's in a different spot this time. And the dismiss, it almost feels like cheating when you get away with that. Looking in your opponent's eyes and just dismissing them, moving away. And while Rhyme, unfortunately, he's the one to take the brunt of that pick. It does mean that Nuki hasn't healed. And Chihuahua, he's found an important pick, but he does not expect the Vova to still be there. They're going to need to clear this angle with Nuki being brought back from the fray. Will he survive? No. That was the weirdest res I've ever seen. They Usually you'll use that to bait out, but they just kind of went, uh, you're going to die here, bro. We got to hurt your stats a little bit. Oh, no. Oh. He oh got the God kill God. right on him as well. Robin Hood from JD. It's a 1v2 thanks to that. And if Kree can just get that spike, he could TP out of here. But it does. Oh, he spots the head. But he's been spotted as well. That jump peak a little dangerous. No paranoia. Three seconds to a smoke. He spots the player out. But Poor is quick to hit the shot. 
It's time to make it work, man. They're looking for a map three. They want to make it through to playoffs right away, and they would have to win this map and the next. If this goes to OT... This time, they have the long control ready. Oh. It is going to be the ultimates put in, but it's a quick trade. Again, Nuki still trying to hold the line, but he falls. They've managed to garner an advantage, but there's already a fast flank. Yeah, Evova's in position. I don't know that they're ready for this one. Spike on the site. Evova can easily take him down as soon as he goes for an open plant. Or if he goes inside the tube, it's a little risky. Waiting. Oh, hold on. Heretics, they've been sold a fake. They're rotating back towards the A site. Evova picks up one. But now he moves towards the site, maybe unaware the players are still here. The other two are on the A site, and this will be a free plan for NIP. And a three versus two retake for Heretics. Ultimate almost online for Lal if he gets just one kill, but nobody really in an easy position to res. It's going to be so hard to make work, and NIP can just play time. They've got great post-planned positions, and Heretics have no information to play off of. The camera destroyed from Pora. 30 seconds till it's back online. It's out of the round, and they need to force a fight. They need to find a victim now or never. As Lau makes his way in, he's tagged up heavily on his way through to Hookah. Heals himself. Flank on the way in the form of a Kukos. Time is low. Ult comes through. Everything is stacked against Heretics. And Tom, this is it. This is the end of the game. To take this one nice and slow. Pump the brakes, you know. And uh, straight away, mid control for Heretics. They're popping down smokes. They're trying to stop anybody from pushing out. And as they do, Nuki was there to greet them, but not quite hitting that headshot. Korea's been big in the last map. He had some really large, really flashy rounds. And right now, he's the one that's opening this up, giving the man advantage over to that attacking side. And they've got plenty of options now for where they want to take it. it. Looks like the B side is their preference. And with the wall that's down, Heretics have completely left this site. Yeah, the worry is there's still one for NIP. So now you've only got one avenue back in to actually try and do anything here. If I say that, they're actually coming in on a fast flank. Pora wrapping him from behind. He's got a Vova alongside him as well. And they've done a hell of a lot of damage getting back into this site fairly early. Sage dropped is always going to be impactful. You lose your heals in a pistol round where that little bit of extra health can make all the difference. Chihuahua lurking in towards B main as that wall had broken. They're spamming away. They're looking for kills, but it's all a distraction. Chihuahua to emerge from the smoke, but not victorious. Side swiped and taken down. Korea with it all to do, and it's just not possible. Defuse to come through. That is the pistol round going the way of Heretics. Yeah, the re-aggression there from Heretics was what completely changed the round. A bold move, to say the least, especially when your opponents have been almost sat in mid to be alive at the end unless they've won it. Absolutely, or unless there's a spike they can dive into if it's the defenders usually. At 10 seconds left, it's time to just go. Just send it cross over and try desperately to plant. Five on the clock as they get to the site. The plant will be gotten. And... With JD's kill, it's a 2v2. A winnable situation for sure. Still with Nuke alive, I'll never count them out of a round, that's for sure. Wall bangs coming through. Decent little bit of tickle damage going in. But all it takes is one bullet from these sheriffs, and the round flips on its head. A 2v1 could be in play, and JD forces a fight up close. Rubino quick to connect that kill and leave Korea all by himself. He's got it all to do. He's being swung on and quickly on to Nukie. One bullet. All that he needed, but it can't be connected. Defuse to come through. Heretics. I don't even want to call this a round win. They get another pushing up. Or will they suspect Evova? They're clearing him for now, but they look away at the wrong moment. A free double for him. And he tears that attack to shreds. Stopped in their tracks. But a 1v4. Not going to be happening. Not today. No. Keep these guys out of position. They're still going to go for the plant by the looks of things. With time so low, they don't want to risk utility keeping them out. And that means almost certainly oh, no. there's the detain. But it can almost serve as a bait sometimes. There's so many players to cover him. JD's not really in any danger. But they have given up complete control of the site. They're going to fight it inside the smokes. There's a res to play with as well if they need it. But it's being defused. Just they need to get it. the shots on. And nobody connects onto Rubino, who just sticks it from the second he gets on. That is a dis- Going down just as he looks away with his smoke in hand. That leaves Pora all by himself. He uses his utility as nano swarms to keep them back. Grabs a kill. Swings back to default, but takes some damage for his trouble. The swing a bit too wide. But JD and Rhyme, they're quick to clean up. 2v4. Man advantages swinging for the attackers. And so are the kills. So are the duels. NIP. 
and look to have gotten their first round on the board unless Lowell has got one of those big 1v4s up his sleeve again. Spike planted. If he pulls this off, I think NIP just DC. I, I think he just called it a day. <laughs> nice oh. shot to at least get the first, but away from his heal's not going to get him too far. Yeah, he's not... Th the thing is, the amount of time it would take him to... Well, at least, hopefully, unless someone on NIP is very aggressive, he would have to get a kill very fast, find someone to res, and then manage to get back into the site. And I just don't think there's a chance for that. You can see them almost baiting him in on the angles. He's just looking to make this as costly as humanly possible. Any aggression. <gasps> oh, that is a good career! He just goes running around the corner, not expecting anyone to be there. And Nuki, he's so well placed to just do damage again and again. Three kills for him, but he's matched by JD. A 2v2 scenario, time been given for the rotation, and everybody's been worked out, Mitch. There's a good chance for both teams, and the res will come through. The wall broken, but up goes an ice wall. The peek through afterwards, JD is snuck into a great position after resing a Kukos. Oh, he knew exactly what... Left. I mean, it's a tough call. It really is. Uh, they could risk it, but with a rolling thunder and a hunter's fury, I, I don't know that you want to. Although they've already managed to bait out a rolling thunder, which is more than worthwhile. NIP being a bit overzealous with that one. At this point, you can, you should be able to safely say they're not going for it, but I see them grouped up. I see them looking for fights. This is uh, kind of insane, to be honest. The clock is heavily against them. Man advantages are gone. Hunter's Fury can be set up to delay the defuse. And indeed, they eventually realize that this round is definitely gone. They get nothing for it, no damage to the NIP economy, and they lose two weapons. So this is altogether a, a fairly negative round. The one up three players on max money after this round as well, like 7.5 or above. Oh, four players spotted. Hello, Hunter's Fury. So many players tagged on up. Rubino gets one, Nuke with another, but the return is there. Ryan grabs himself a kill. He's going to look for a little bit more in towards B main, knowing that these guys are pushing forward. Shock darts come into play, but don't connect anything. With heretics on the man advantage and with the better weapons, they're the ones that are that, that should be kind of controlling the pace of this round now. It's, it's only the judge that is a disadvantage for Evova. And in the position he's holding, it could come back to bite him, actually. He decides to push into A main, which I think is the right call. Look at the control. Look at where Chihuahua is. Yeah, that's the problem. There's now almost, there's a lurk and a second lurk because you've got a player pushing in in the form of JD to try and take some control further and then a player moving into CT. However, someone has eyes in the back of their head because it was worked out by Rubino. Just goes, okay, you know what? I'm just going to check spawn just in case. And Chihuahua's like, dude, seriously? The one second you can actually spot me, you're going to peek straight in. They even go for a situations in which he picks it back up. But for the most part, will be the phantom that he uses as he pushes on forward to try and cut this off. I don't know what Rubino was thinking on that one, but that plan was certainly not the right one. Dropped in the open, and so too is Nuke. Players falling one after another. Heretics have to make a big clutch comeback here, and pour a interesting swarm grenade because there's a wall there. Maybe he thinks someone's on top of it. We'll start to move forward with this ultimate just to secure the site, and now it's all about sticking it. That swarm still allows them to peek up behind it. It just stops them from pushing on through. He has a tight angle, but now the smoke fades, and he needs all of these kills. No chance. Not out B. I think you're pretty bottlenecked with that low time and it just pushing the B site. He gets stunned on the way out, which is a bit unfortunate as Rubino wants to take the fight up close and somehow capitalizes a double. The swing not quite connecting, but around the smoke, Lowell's good for one to spray down for more and Heretics, they get on. The problem now is that I think the defense have a read. They have an idea that's coming back in this direction, but they're so reliant on Loud to at least get something done. He peeks in. I thought for a second he might get two, and the wall is actually going to deny of over much more. He breaks it, but runs out of ammo before he can take anyone with him. A tough retake. You know, earlier in this round, we saw Pora tank an aftershock. So he's down on 33 HP, a Larnbot on sight. He's going out wide with utility in hand. Very lucky to still be alive. Kriya takes him down. Good info for Evova to play off of. The head spotted, connected through the wall. Classic comes out. He's not quite that low, but eventually falls. And with JD all alone, he only has Evova to contend with. Knows exactly where he is, and he snuck his way around the generator. Caught off by the angle, but JD always won for the spray. Can fight from Rhyme. Does it all the time. He sees three, but 
the bad time to just fall on back and wait for his teammates. The retake that they want to attempt will be without JD. He was caught unaware and flanked out from Garden. This point, you know, the extra manpower that they've got allows Heretics to make this bit of a move. When it's a 4v4, you know NIP are going to be slow pushing in. You know that door is down on a pistol. They've got plenty of time, and Lowell's the one that's making that work. There's nobody watching their six right now. This is allowing the sneaky, beaky cloak and dagger play from Lowell. He gets up behind and picks up the kill. Heaven Control goes towards NIP. Or towards Heretics, sorry, as NIP come back out to retake it. And Chihuahua falls. This is a bit of a disaster, a catastrophe of a pistol round. One that they desperately wanted and probably needed. NIP now three playoff spot. This is to not go down to the lower bracket, to face a team that previously we've seen them struggle against. NIP want to get on the board here and not allow Heretics to run away with it, but a one-for-one -one trade, that's exactly what the attackers want when they've got these weak weapons. Yeah, Nuki didn't even pop the Empress either, so our, our whole point of how he yep. was going to play this round just <laughs> gone completely out the window. Sometimes caster equals stupid, but it's all right. We've got fantastic analysts to break things down afterwards. They'll tell you all the information that we, of course, missed. And now, the aggression coming out again. This is a, a bit of a risky push, especially considering the round. Trades here for the attack will be absolutely fine, but they don't expect Chihuahua. He's the knife in the back, the lurker in the darkness. And they have no choice but to give up this control. They don't want to face him at this point. It does leave one defender on B. In fact, it leaves no defenders on B. Maybe a bit of a misread here. The timing does at least work out. Ryan will be in position, but he's having to look between two spots. And I do wonder if Rubino might catch a cheeky timing here. He might do. He's already out, already holding the angle. And as Ryan comes back in, it's a wall that goes up in his face. They get over towards watching this alley push out. They should be ready for it, and not quite, actually. Not ready to take the fight. Instead, focusing on the site, a plan to come in. A 2v3 retake. NIP have the advantages. Everything is lined up for them to take this round. Utility not there. All they have is a recon arrow to work with. No flashes, which would be perfect. That recon gets a reveal. They know there's a player behind the site, and Chihuahua hits it quickly. It's all down to Rubino, and he runs out of ammo. A 3k for Chihuahua. At least there's three players in heaven, but that might not be the case for long. Chihuahua caught on the cross. Man advantage for the attackers, and site control is pretty firmly theirs. That's your anchor gone as well, and JD, well, he's, he's got his res. Unfortunately, he can't bring himself back, and this is what Nuki is known for. This is what he's renowned for on this map. The late lurk through mid. I want to point out, while, while we have a moment, that they actually were prepared for that. A lot of information that there's nobody on that side of the map, but the pace of Heretics is going to make this awkward. They're not going to rotate in time. Nukie is about to take a fight, and indeed he does. Kriya traded out a second for him as he proceeds to under heaven. Lal pops a res, and Nukia, oh, caught by that, but not pushed up into the air. That's huge. Even destroys that recon dart. Now playing from down below, but Evova from afar. That's the round secured. 12 on the board. Heretics are looking. IP. They now need six rounds in a row, or they will be going down to the lower bracket. This is a tough time to be a Ninjas fan. Yeah, and, and the thing is, in that round, NIP actually did a pretty decent job of getting info. Gone anywhere since. Your NIP, they're not the team you want to be facing, but they're the one you've got. As they look for six consecutive rounds, burning everything. They're investing as much as they possibly can, getting information, but nothing is to be bought. Heretics have heavy mid control, and Pora picks up the first. That's a Kukos down, Flash is gone. No rolling thunder, at least. He lost, but they've even spotted Chihuahua in the corner. He is screwed. There's players swinging on him absolutely everywhere. And this is a catastrophe for NIP. They've lost the A site. The plant is coming in. And all that remains are two Spectres to try and do something to this lawless attack from Heretics. No chance. Absolutely none. They are already getting picked apart. Okay, the 